What role does love play in the human condition? We haven't brought up love in this whole picture. We talked about intelligence, we talked about consciousness. It seems part of humanity, I would say one of the most important parts is this feeling we have towards if each there, other. If in the future there were routinely more than one AI, let's say two for the sake of discussion, who would look at each other and say, I am I and you are you. The other one also says, I am I and you are you. And like, and sometimes they were happy and sometimes they were sad. And it mattered to the other one that this thing that is different from them is like, they would rather it be happy than sad and entangled their lives together. Then this is a more optimistic thing than I expect to actually happen. And a little fragment of, of meaning would be there, possibly more than a little, but that I expect this to not happen that I do not think this is what happens by default, that I do not think that this is the, the future we are on track to get, is why I would go down fighting rather than, you know, just saying, oh, well. Do you think that is part of the meaning of this whole thing, of the meaning of life? What do you think is the meaning of life, of human life? It's all the things that I value about it and maybe all the things that I would value if I understood it better. There, there's not some meaning far outside of us that we have to, to wonder about. There's just like looking at life and being like, yes, this is what I want. There, there's the, the meaning of life is not some kind of like, like, like meaning is, something that we bring to things when we look at them. We look at them and we say like, this is its meaning to me. And there's like, there's, it's not that before humanity was ever here, there was like some meaning written upon the stars where you could like go out to the star where that meaning was written and like change it around and thereby completely change the meaning of life, right? Like, like, like the, the notion that this is written on a stone tablet somewhere implies that you could like change the tablet and get a different meaning. And that seems kind of wacky, doesn't it? So, it's it's it it doesn't feel that mysterious to me at this point. It's just a matter of being like, yeah, I care. I care. And part of that is uh, part of that is the love that connects all of us. It's one of the things that I care about. And the flourishing of the collective intelligence of the human species. You know, that sounds kind of too fancy to me. I just look at all the all the people, you know, like <laughs> one by one up to the eight billion and be like, that's life, that's life, that's life. Eliezer, you're an incredible human. It's a huge honor. I was uh, trying to talk to you for a long time <laughs> because I'm a big fan. I think you're a really important voice and really important mind. Thank you for the fight you're fighting. Um, Thank you for being fearless and bold and for everything you do. I hope we get a chance to talk again and I hope you never give up. Thank you're, you for talking today. You're welcome. I do worry that we didn't really address a whole lot of fundamental questions I expect people have, but you know, maybe we got a little bit further and made a tiny little bit of progress. And uh, I'd say like, be satisfied with that. But actually, no, I think one should only be satisfied with solving the entire problem. To be continued. <laughs>